Hey, real quick, the first shout out we're giving today is going to my brother Damon out here in Cali. Because of him, I'm live with this food review from Carl's Jr. Y'all been asking me to beat up that Diablo and also that American Thick Burger. And he came through, he scooped me up after my, my filming day today to make that happen for every last one of you. So, D, I'm gonna jump up in the frame, man, because this because of you, Playboy. What's you up, know everybody? Me? That's that's my actual that's my actual brother right there. Not just my brother because we black. That's my actual brother. Same father. You see the resemblance? <laughs> YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. She made me a dame. Drops back again with another super, super official. Photo of you can't dig it, baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. So, boom. Here it is. Carl's Jr. You're like, damn, your bag looks crazy big and you're absolutely correct. It should. I have two different burgers in here. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to beat you in the head with both burgers in one video or if I'm going to separate the two and make you wait till Friday for the other joint. Here it is, that American Thick Burger here at Carl's Jr. Woo! Oh my goodness, it's already busting out the box. Now, normally I bring you in close to let you look at the spices and the craftsmanship that goes into the food, but I have the boo-boo the fool camera. This is the boo-boo the fool camera, and that means I don't fool with it on close-ups. I have a special camera for the close-up, so I don't have that camera. It's back at the hotel. I forgot it. So you're going to see this as is. I mean, it looks thick. I see why you call it thick. I have all this stuff that I don't need. I don't need all that crunchy water, B. Red ring of death. I left all these items within the burger just to see how much of the burger they take up. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to dead those items because I'm going to take them dead off my burger. I'm not playing. The American Thick Burger here at Carl's Jr. Let's go. <laughs> Son, that was so foul. On so many levels, this burger is extremely ridiculous. Some chips are good though. We're gonna start out with the with the levels of ridiculousness. And yes, I spit it out. Um. I love a thick burger. When I say a thick burger, I'm thinking a double tender beef patty, some American cheese, could be sharp cheddar cheese. You know how I get down extra crispy bacon, right? This particular burger had a hot dog in it. It had potato chips in it, pickles in it. It had the cheese. It had the lettuce and it had a tomato. And trust me, even if I would have left it on the burger, it still wouldn't have helped this burger. I had to spit it out because ultimately all those flavors they were just nasty inside of my mouth. I couldn't even take that down to allow my system to digest that. It was a salt. It made the burger salty. Carl's Jr. really didn't think outside the box with this one. The All-American Thick Burger gets a boo. Boo, boo from your main man, Zane. The All-American Thick Burger is getting a negative three. Bonk, three, bonk, three from your main man, Dame. I'm not feeling Carl's Jr. American Thick Burger. I understand why you called it American Thick Burger. I see that you wanted to create that Franken burger. You wanted to go above and beyond. You wanted to take the game to the next level. Sometimes, sometimes, you need to automatically look at the next level and just mind your business. Don't even go there. Don't even go there because you're going to mess up a good thing. If you have something good, don't go messing up a good thing. Maybe you could have just made a monstrous hot dog with a regular hot dog bun. But by taking the hot dog and putting it on top of the beef, you just messed up the flavors right there. They're not, they're not working together. All right, your hot dogs and burgers, they don't go together like oil and water. You see what I'm saying to you? I hope you get the picture because I just framed it for you. Carl's Jr., I'm going to show you exactly how I feel about your all-American thick burger.
Team Day.